So I said on the left side has a normal debit balance, okay? Liabilities, equities on the right side has normal credit balance, okay? So when you increase the balance, you are going to debit asset, you are credit liability, credit equity, okay? When you decrease the balance, it's the opposite. You credit asset, debit liability, debit equity, okay? I hope that I make that very clear, okay? I hope I make that very clear. So let's take a look at the, the, the other general entry, okay? So they purchased equipment, so the company purchased equipment uh, by signing a $5,000 loan, okay? So the company get a loan from the bank, okay? $5,000 and use that $5,000 to purchase the equipment, okay? What is equipment? Asset, liability or equity? Asset. Okay, does it increase or decrease? Increase. Increase, so you debit or credit? Debit. Debit, thank you. Thank you very much, okay? So now, what about the loan? Okay, the bank loan payable. What is that? Is that asset liability or equity? Liability. Liability, is that increased? Yes. So you debit or credit? Credit. Credit. Debit, I'm sorry. No, no, credit. Credit, okay, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, very good. Okay, so you can see this is will be how we do general entry, right? So you have to know what is the normal balance, okay? What's the normal balance? So when that balance increased, you go with that, right? If it's a normal debit balance, when the balance increase, you go debit, okay? When the balance decrease, you use the opposite, which is credit, okay? So debit, and credit can happen to any accounts, right? It's gonna affect the balance differently, right? So for asset, debit will increase, credit will decrease. For liability, credit will increase, debit will decrease. For equity, credit will increase and debit will decrease, okay? So liabilities, and equities is always the opposite to I said, because the, these two accounts are on the other side of the equation, okay? Are we okay with this? <laughs> Too simple? Okay, so now, now let's, uh, you know, on the Moodle website, on the Moodle website, uh, there is a lecture seven handout, okay? Lecture seven handout. So go to the Moodle website, lecture seven handout, okay. I hope you all have access to that, but I'm going to share my screen with you. Let's work together on this one, see if you get it, okay? See if you get it. Okay, so let's see. So I'm going to share my screen, where is it? Where is the, here. So I'm going to share with you on my screen. Huh, how, where is it? How can I share? Just give me one second. So it's the uh, module seven handout. Okay, oh here, got it. So module seven handout. It's a Word document. Okay, are you seeing my screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna work this together. Is that big enough? Okay, awesome. So let's work this together. Uh, I would really prefer if students are volunteer to uh, work this with me together, okay? So uh, let me see. If you're ready, I would wish to see your hands up, okay? If you want to answer a question, please have your hand up. 
Uh, so this is the question, prepare the general entries for the following uh, general entry transactions. October 1st, purchase some equipment for 48,000 40, using cash. The equipment will last 10 years. So if you want to answer the question, please uh, raise your hand. Oh, Ruben, thank you. Hi. Um, so then when they have $48,000 of assets, so that would be debit. Debit, yeah. And then... Debit what? What account do you want me to debit? Uh, debit, like the, the first debit account what, there. What did you receive? What did you receive? Assets. Asset? What asset? Equipment. Good. Yeah, that's 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 this account, right? So you debit okay. equipment account, right? And yeah. for forty eight thousand, right? Yeah. What do you credit? Nothing, because it was cash. Okay. So what right? what has decreased? So you can't only do debit, right? Oh. When you have a general entry, you your total debit has to equal total. Oh, credit. your your assets would decrease or no your equity would decrease your equity decreased no so what Asset, did you give up when you get the equipment you get the equipment what did you give up assets cash cash, cash assets so your cash decreased right yeah so then you credit cash right credit cash yeah, yeah. very good thank you Forty thousand. okay okay so you can see that uh, the net change is zero so it's a exchange between one asset for another asset, right? So both cash and equipment are assets. So one account balance decreased, the other account balance increased, right? So the net is zero. So the accounting equation is still balanced, okay? Next, October 7th, pay employee, okay? Pay employee $5,600. Anyone? This is a little bit challenging. Joshua? Um, so, um, first of all, you'd have to uh, credit your cash. Uh, okay, very good. Very good. And then right. you would and then you would um, debit, um, what's it called? You debit uh, salaries. Okay, very good. 5,000. Yeah, 5, very good. Thank you, Joshua. So you pay, right? You pay in cash. So your, ca your cash balance decreased. You have less cash. So you credit cash for 5,600. And this would be your expenses, right? So expenses is on the left side, okay? Expenses is on the left side. Do you know why? Do you know why expenses is on the left side? Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do this here. Okay, here. Remember your um, asset equals liabilities plus equity, right? Okay. So liabilities, what is equity? Can anyone tell me the two components of equity? Share capital plus return earnings, right? Is that correct? Yeah. So this will be the ending balance, right? So I will keep doing this work. So you have liabilities plus share capital, plus return earnings, ending balance, you start with uh, opening balance, return earnings, you have an opening balance, and you plus something, minus something, do you, do you remember? You plus revenues, minus expenses, that's your net income, you minus dividend. Does this make sense? Your 
your net income is the difference between revenues and expenses, okay? So that will increase your return earnings right here. And dividend will reduce your return earnings, okay? So now I'm going to shift this minus sign. See this minus sign to the other side of the equation. So I have asset. So I'm gonna take all those um, this expenses and dividend, they have a minus sign in front of them on the right side. I'm going to shift them to the right side, the left side, okay? So I have asset plus expenses plus dividends equals liabilities plus share capital plus returned earnings opening and plus revenue. So can you tell me which side of the expenses account is R? Left or right? Expenses right? on the left. Yeah, so you can see expenses is like on the left, right? So if you increase expenses, you are going to debit it, just like the asset, okay? So now this salary expenses, okay? This is the salary expenses. That's increased, right? So you're gonna debit this, salary expenses. Are we clear with this? Good, okay. Let's do the next one. Uh, you pay 150 for Facebook advertisement to promote a business. What's my general entry? What's my general entry, uh, Tyler? So uh, 150 for an ad expense, you debit that. Very good. And then 150 credited to cash. Awesome, advertising expenses and the cash, credit cash. Very similar to the example above, right? Very good, and next one, uh, October 15th, you sold $450 service on account. Okay, so they didn't pay you cash, right? Uh, to someone who saw the Facebook ad. So someone, uh, so you sold the service, right? To someone, okay, so somebody pay you money but it's on account, not cash, right? That means it's on credit, it's not on cash, right? So, so then what increased and what, what, uh, what increased in this uh, transaction? So if you make money from the customer, what is called? Accounts receivable. Because yeah, they accounts pay receivable. It. And that's increased or decreased? Accounts receivable has increased. Increased, right? So you debit or credit. And that's an asset, so that's a debit. Debit. You debit accounts receivable. That's an mm -hmm. asset. That's increased for 450. Okay, so what about you sold the service? What are those things? What are the sales? What do you call that? The 450. Revenue. Revenue, okay. So now you tell me, which side of the equation revenue is? Right. Yeah, do you see here? Revenue is on the right side. So it's very similar to uh, liabilities or equities, right? So you're gonna debit or credit. So revenue increase or decrease? Revenue increased. Increase, right? So you receive the money. So you don't debit or credit. Debit. Uh, so if you debit again, so my total debit will be 900. I have no credit. So now they are not balanced, right? Remember, what for, for general entry, the total debit has to equal total credit, right? So if I debit the uh, revenue, 
So my total debit is 900 and I have zero credit. So that's, that's not right, right? So, you know, we need a credit revenue, right? Because it's on the right side. Right side has a credit and normal balance. When we increase it, you're gonna credit. Does this make sense? Yes. Yeah. Anyone have any questions? No, you guys are okay? Awesome, let's move on to the last one. So October 2020s, purchase 2,500 of supplies on account. On account means you, you, you made the purchase, but you haven't paid the cash yet, okay? The uh, suppliers trust you, trust you, you will pay. Okay, the suppliers have faith in you. The suppliers have a good relationship with you. Uh, supplier know you will pay. So they are able to sell to you for now and hoping you will be paid, paid it back later, maybe 30, in 30 days, something like that. So that's called on account, okay? So suppliers have account uh, you know, with your name, right? So every time you pay, if you don't pay cash, they're just gonna write, record that transaction under your account, right? Okay, so they purchased 2,500 supplies, okay, supplies on account. So what do you debit? What, what did you receive, okay? What did you give up? I only see Tyler's hands is up. Anyone else want to have a try? Okay, Tyler, go ahead. Um, so we received supplies, which is an asset, and that's on the debit side. Okay, so, All right, good. Uh, so it's a debit. Yeah. Of twenty five hundred. Yeah. And then we didn't take it out of our cash we put it on account so that goes to our accounts payable which is a liability and that's on the credit side and that went up so it's a credit very good okay so supplies are your assets right all right your assets remember the assets has three de definitions has three criteria, right first ownership you bought it is yours second past the event you have already paid for it you bought it yesterday. Last one, future benefit. When you use the supplies, it gives you the benefit, right? When I use the paper, it's gonna print out some of my license plans, right? When I use the marker, you are able to see on the whiteboard, right? So you see the benefit of the supplies. So supplies is a asset, right? Is an asset. So uh, if you work for a company, right? You open the shelf, you see all these pencils there, all these papers, right? All these, uh, you know, all these, you know, supplies there. Those are called office supplies. They are asset, right? They are asset. Okay. And then you haven't paid them yet, but you are liable to pay, right? So that's your liability. Even though you haven't paid the cash yet, but, right, legally you are liable to pay, right? So that's uh, payable liability, okay? So are we clear? I have a quick question. Go ahead. Are, are all uh, all assets recorded as uh, in the debit section then? Uh, in this case, in this case, you can see that uh, equipment, it's a debit, but for cash, it's a credit. So both are assets. So depending how the transaction affects the balance, if the transaction makes the asset balance go up, then you debit. If the transaction makes the asset balance go down, then you credit. So in this okay. case, the transaction used your cash. So you gave up the cash. So your cash balance go down, right? So 
this asset cash balance go down, you credit. For equipment, you have this new piece of equipment that balance increased, so you debit. Okay. So debit credit can happen to all accounts, right? But it affect that account the opposite way, okay? They always affect the, the same account the opposite way, either increase or decrease, right? Anyone else have questions? If you are comfortable with everything I have talked about so far, give me a thumb up so I can move on. I wanna see uh, how, how you guys are doing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so have eight. Okay, yeah. So yeah, for, yeah, okay, there's some delay. Awesome, I think almost all of you are pretty clear with this. That's the good news. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now I wanna talk about, um, uh, I wanna talk about the adjusting entry. Okay, adjusting entry. So what, what do we call this? These are called general entries. Okay, all these transactions happened uh, during the period, reporting period. Okay, suppose the reporting period start from uh, August 1st to the end of uh, August 31st. That's one month reporting period, okay? So you can see all these transactions happened during that period. Those are journal entries, right? All these entries I'm making here, that's called the journal entries, okay? Uh, sometimes, normally you also put the date there for reference purpose. In this case, I do not have a date for the journal entry. Normally you would have a date, you record a date for that transaction, right? So that's, that can help you to uh, have a better reference point in, in case in future you are looking for some general entries, right? You know the date, then it's easier for you to find it, right? So often you would uh, have some kind of, uh, you know, um, a date. Sometimes you also maybe have an explanation, right? Uh, so these general entries are quite simple, right? So probably you don't need much, right? Uh, so for example, uh, here, maybe you can say, oh, fee paid for uh, Facebook, right? So because you normally don't have any advising expenses, uh, and then people say, oh, I don't, I forgot what it is about, right? If you have a memo, just a little note under, uh, that helps to explain what this money is for, right? It can be very simple, right? As long as it helps you to remember, understand what the transaction is about, right? Uh, you don't have to always, so this is pretty obvious, right? This one is very obvious. Just by reading the journal, journal entry, you know, oh, you pay the $40,000 cash to buy equipment, right? Uh, but again, you may can say, oh, what kind of equipment? You may purchase of office equipment, right? You know, something like that. So it's really up to you, right? It's not mandatory, uh, but having a note of like a, a description can help you understand better what is happening just in case, right? In one year or two years later, you, you want to come back to this entry, right? Um, but it's not mandatory, okay? It's only for your for the benefit of you know future future references. Okay. Okay, so now let's say we are <coughs> October 31st. Okay. October 31st. Uh, remember, remember, okay, you purchased the supply of 2,500. So on October 2020s, okay, you purchased a supply for 2,500, okay? So now at the end of the reporting period, you counted only 1,900 left, okay? only 1900 left. So we had to make some adjustment, right? Because what's the balance of the supply now on October 31st? This is the 
and the date of the re reporting period, right, for that month. So I want to make sure all my balance reflect the actual number on that date, right? I want to reflect all my balances correctly for December 31st, right? So Josh, you have Joshua? Um, so at the end of the at the end of the month, your supplies would now be uh one thousand nine hundred instead of instead of uh two thousand five hundred. Very good. So, good job. Yeah. So you can count it, right? Because you you use all these supplies, the balance will decrease, right? So when you first bought it, twenty five hundred, and ten days after, ten days later, you only have ninety hundred left on your hand, right? And to report this number for October 31st, you know that it's not 2,500, it's 1,900. So I have to make an adjustment. And this entry is called adjusting general entry. Adjusting general entry is only for the end date of the reporting period, okay? You don't make adjusting entries, right? Um, you know, in the normal reporting period, you only do it at the very end of that reporting period. You make all this adjustment. How can I make adjustment to make a supply balance decrease from 2,500 to 1,900? Debit or credit? Um, oh. Go ahead, Joshua. Sorry. Okay. Um, to, in, order to, in order for that to happen, would you have to uh, credit supplies? Very good, thank you. Because supply is an asset, if you decrease the supply, you have to credit. So I'm gonna decrease supply by the difference, 2,500 and 1,900. So that's 600, right? Okay, so now where should I debit? Um, retained earnings? Um, no, not return earnings. Yeah. Right? Because this isn't a closing entry, correct? Pardon me? Because this isn't a closing entry. Yeah, this is not a closing entry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just adjusting entry. The closing entry will be uh, even after this. Okay. So we are not that there yet. So, uh, Tyler? Just supplies expense. Because supply expenses. Okay. Supply expenses. So these are two different things, right? Supply is asset on the balance sheet. Supply expenses is expenses on the income statement, okay? So when you use it, it becomes expenses, right? When you don't use it, it's there, it's yours, it's your asset. But if you have used it, that become expenses, okay? Okay, so this is one thing. Another thing is, how about the equipment? Right? So the equipment, you bought it October 1st for 48,000, right? So now it's October 31st, one month after. Do you think your equipment is still have the same value, 48,000? If I buy a car for 20,000 uh, uh, on February 1st, and if I sell it to you for on February 28th, one month after, do you want to pay 20,000, the full price? Ruben? Um, wouldn't it have lost $400 of value? Why? Because it lasts 10 years. Uh huh. And so I divided the whole number by 10 and then 12, because it was one month. Yeah, awesome, very good. So it turned out to be 400, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what I got. So the idea here is, just like Ruben said, so we are thinking this equipment can be used for 10 years. And we assume 10 years after it has no value. Why? Because that's the nature of the asset, right? Depreciation. Yeah? Depreciation. Yeah, depreciation. Very good, that's the word. So there is a cost of using this long-term asset, right? So if you go to university buildings, the classrooms, right? The, the, the building, 
university building is a long-term asset, right? Okay, but it, it still have uh, a number of years of useful life, maybe 100 years, 200 years, right? And there's a cost, okay, there's a cost. You should recognize the cost of using that building, right? So we're, in this case, uh, the value is 40,000 in the beginning. We estimate 10 years later, the value is zero. So how much cost associated with using the equipment? You use the cost divided by 10. So every year is 4,800, right? 10 years together is 48,000. And then you are divided by monthly, right? You are working on a monthly depreciation. So then you divide it by 12. So 4,800 divided by 12, that's 400, okay? So from October 1st to the date we are talking about, October 31st, one month has passed. We should recognize the depreciation expenses of one month, right? Okay. So I'm going to recognize depreciation expense, okay, for the equipment for $400, okay? And I'm going to credit it. So instead of credit equipment directly, I'm going to uh, keep this account, okay? This account will always tell me how much I paid for this equipment. But how, I, how can I keep track of the amortization, the depreciation ongoing, right? I want to keep track of how much uh, has been depreciated, right? So I'm going to use something called a cumulated depreciation. Oops, depreciation on equipment 400. Okay, so this account, this account uh, has, it's quite different from the normal asset. It's called control asset. So this is a control asset. What is control asset? So when you report this account, cumulative depreciation on equipment, you have to be presented under the asset section. Okay, so that's why it's an asset, right? So if it's an asset, you need to present it under the asset section. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, what's the normal balance of an asset? Debit or credit? Debit. Debit, okay, very good. The normal balance for counter asset is credit. Okay, it's credit. So for example, over the time, uh, this balance will increase, right? Over the time passing, uh, the depreciation will be accumulated, right? So the balance will increase uh, because you credit, you credit all the time, okay? So that's a contra asset. You cannot present it on the left side of the equation. It's not liability, it's not equity. It's an asset. That's why we call it a counter asset. However, it has a different normal balance. Normally, asset have a debit normal balance, but a counter asset have a normal credit balance. Okay. So when you increase this account, you will credit it. Okay. So this account capture, okay, uh, the amount of depreciation has been done so far, okay, so far. And the balance, and this account always tells me how much I paid for, okay? This account will not change, okay? And this account will increase over the time. And eventually, after 10 years, the balance will be 48,000 credit, okay, credit balance. And then you have a debit balance of 48 here. The net is zero, okay? That's how you get the zero. So are we clear with this?
Any question on this? All good, all good, move on. Okay, awesome. Okay, so what is, uh, so now you learned about, okay, general entries. Okay, you learned about debit, credit, okay. And now you learn about uh, adjusting entries. Okay, note adjusting entries only is those entries you need to make adjustment at the year end, right? So you don't you don't do a daily depreciation expenses, right? You don't do a calculation every day, right? Because the cost the benefit doesn't adjust the cost, right? So uh, you you divide this by thirty every day. You record it like you know twelve about twelve bucks, right? That's not very helpful, right? Why would you do that, right? So instead, you only do calculate depreciation expenses once for the whole reporting period, right? And when you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it at the year, at the uh, end date of the reporting period, okay? So you see this adjusting entries, okay? Adjusting entries. So once you have this, once you have all this, okay? Um, you will have a adjusted trail balance, okay? So here you can have a trail balance, okay? So now if I, if I posted these journal entries, suppose this is a new company starting October 1st, okay? So then what's my trail balance? Okay, my trail balance. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use blue color. So I have a trial balance. Okay, so what is the, uh, you have equipment, the balance is 14,000. Okay, and uh, so that's the debit. And then you have uh, salary expenses. That's for the income statement, that's 5,600. Uh, advertising expenses, 150. Uh, you have accounts receivable, 450. You have supply, 2,500. What else? Debit. Did I capture the debit? Yeah, this is all my debit, right? This will be all my David, okay, and then what are my credits? So I have a cash, okay, so, you know, cash you have 48,000, this is going down, okay, and you have cash, okay, 56, so this one has to add, 5,600, and again, cash, 150. So that's how much cash you're using, okay? And then you have revenue for 450, and then you have accounts payable for 2,500, okay? So after you make these journal entries, you have a trail balance, trail balance. So trail balance is a list of accounts with the balances, right? You have this account's name and also their balance, debit or credit. So for trail balance, the total debit has to equal total credit. So this debit has to equal the credit, okay? Otherwise, <laughs> you, you did something wrong with the general entry, okay? So your total will be, let's see. Okay, see if I can do this. So that's gonna be 631, 31, 87. Okay, 56, seven, 56, 700. Is that right? So you are going to have debit, total debit 
and total credit as 56,700. Okay, is that right? Yes. Okay, good. So you see on the trial balance, what is trial balance? Trial balance is a list of accounts with the balances, right? Some of them have a debit balance, others has a credit balance. But when you summed up all the total debit, you summed up all the total credit, they better equal to each other, okay? Otherwise, yeah, as accountant, this is the thing I, I'm afraid of most. Right? If you realize they are not balanced, boy, you have to think about it. Okay, so the bookkeeping, the, the book, the, you know, the accountant did something wrong, right? The bookkeeper did something wrong, okay? Because I can't do any other work if this is not balanced, okay? Now uh, you have this adjusting entry, right? This is adjusting entries here. So now you are going to post this adjusting entries to the trial balance, you are going to have adjusted trial balance. Okay, that's adjusted trial balance. So what is gonna be like? So I'm gonna copy this. Okay, I'm going to copy this. So your trial balance and then, so here, what should I do, right? Supply expenses, so I have to add a supply expenses. Right, because there's this adjusting entry, I have a supply expenses for 600, right? And my supplies, this number is down, right? It's down by 600. So now this number become 1900. Is that right? Correct? And this one, depreciation expenses. Depreciation expense. So that's 400, okay? And also I have this account. I have a new account here. Not new account, but accumulated depreciation. And this account has uh, da, 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 400. So now, what is my total? What is what is my total uh, debit? So if you recalculate this, it's going to be 400 dollars more. So I think this is going to be five seven one hundred. Right? It's going to be 400 dollars more. So. This is my adjusted, adjusted trail balance. Are we clear with this? Yeah, makes sense to me. Yeah, good, okay, awesome. Okay, you see you have general entries and then you post them to the ledger, okay? Ledger is basically that, account with the balance, right? And uh, and under that account, there's lots of transactions, right? Uh, so then you pull the ledgers, those are the account with balances, either debit or credit balance. Together, you get a trial balance. That's your trial balance. This is a trial balance. And then at the year end, you make adjusting entries, and then you post the adjusting entries, right? To update the trial balance you get a adjusted trial balance, okay? Adjusted trial balance. Awesome. Do we have any questions? Makes sense. Awesome. If you understand everything, please sum up. Okay, so if you have a question, can you please ask?
If you don't understand, can you please ask? <laughs> so that means you don't care, right? So you don't understand, but you don't want to ask. So you, you don't care. <laughs> I've got some, I've got some questions, but I think uh, I think I should go back and and review a little bit in the textbook and see because I think I got a little bit too many questions. <laughs> okay, no, that's fine. You know, I think maybe others can benefit from it too. Yeah. Let me know. Okay, after you review the textbook, if you still have questions, send me an email. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. How about you, Yudes? Do you have any question? Yes, I would like to uh, review everything again. And after, if I have a question, I would like to ask. Yeah, what's, what's your question? No, I would like to review everything again. And after, I, I will ask. OK, sure. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so what time is it? So yeah, so that's, how, that's all I have today. If you don't have any other questions, um, we are done today. Thank you. Do you want me to post uh, post uh, this uh, document to the uh, website? Yeah, that yes, would be please. great. Yes, that would be great. Okay, I will do that. Okay, I will do that. Thank Thanks, Professor. Okay, awesome, guys. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on Wednesday, okay? Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, Professor. Yeah. See you next time. Yeah, bye, guys. Yeah.